In this video, we'll look at whether aluminum hydroxide, AlOH3, is ionic or covalent. The short answer is that the entire compound, it's an ionic compound. But within this compound, we have these hydroxide ions. We have three of these hydroxide ions, and each one of those has a covalent bond between the oxygen and the hydrogen. So let's look at the periodic table. Here we have aluminum. That is a metal. And then oxygen over here is a nonmetal hydrogen that's a nonmetal as well. So we have a metal plus these two nonmetals. Metal and nonmetals, that gives us an ionic compound. Because it's an ionic compound, we really should look at the charge on each of the ions. So aluminum right here, this is in group 3A, sometimes called group 13. It has a 3 plus ionic charge. The hydroxide ion right here, each one of these three hydroxide ions has a one minus charge. We just write minus. So you can see that I have three of these negative charges that balances out the three plus on the aluminum. So the net charge is zero. And because we have this positive aluminum ion and these three negative hydroxide ions, they're attracted to each other. They have opposite charges and that forms the ionic bond. Let's talk about the hydroxide ion for a minute. We said oxygen, that's a nonmetal, and then hydrogen, that's also a nonmetal. So when we have a nonmetal and a nonmetal, we end up with a covalent bond. This is also called a molecular bond. So the bond here between the oxygen and the hydrogen for each one of these three hydroxide ions, that is going to be covalent. But overall, we have the positive aluminum ion, the negative hydroxide ions, that makes this an ionic compound. This is Dr. B answering the question whether aluminum hydroxide, ALOH3, is ionic or covalent. Thanks for watching.